you see me and you hear me as you imagine. Almost there. Still keep you happy with only nine fingers, but you. What? Still, it's a lot of money for a wee bit of your body, hmm? isn't it? Which bit of your body is worth the most to you, but you? Those are lovely lips. brother was still alive when his finger was cut off of him. Can you imagine how sore that must have been? <laughs> you didn't do it for him. Did you, Pichu? Because if I thought, well, you could kiss those lovely lips goodbye. Why, France? That's where Christine is. I thought she was in Africa. She's picking grapes for a month at a place that I can't pronounce. <laughs> but I'll find her. What's brought this on? I don't know. I saw a nurse last night. Reminded me of Christine. And Emma's... And Emma's made me think a lot about what I've been missing. What, like? Sex? No, not sex, Jewel. Love. You know what? I'm different, I am. I've never believed in property. You are trespassing. This house will be yours forever, if you don't shut up. I never knew anything about the history of this place. When did I... you start moving up in the world? Look, I don't know what you are talking about. So, this American scumbag comes to you and says, I've got a nice little earner for you. It was a property deal. That... Shut up! God. This place should have been condemned a long time ago. <laughs> Maybe it's still not too late. They're backing out. Of course she's backing out. I've done what they've come to do. Question is, where did she get her information from? This hasn't been about property. This has been about me. 
Ten years ago. I had six pounds in my pocket and a pair of shoes. Two sizes too big. Because they couldn't find mine. Just out of the Stone Hotel. You'll hear me out, Charlie. Take those things off. You buried me, Charlie. I was due. I know. But then... You resurrected me. You are a perverse bastard. Bob Coyle. Nae house, nae job, nae bird, nae mates, police records, sir ribs, on the space of few hours. <laughs> nice one. What the fuck's it got to do with you, eh? It's my fucking business to know. I'm God. <laughs> Wait the fuck, you old rag. You're just like me. A lazy, apathetic, slovenly cunt. No, I hate being like this. But being immortal, I can't even punish myself. I can punish you, though, mate. There were some people who lived up here about 50 years ago. Get themselves to themselves. Made up their own religion. Do unto others, sin, salvation. Same as most faiths. So why put up a monument? Well, they had themselves a kind of minister who preached them sick up here. Till one day, the lot of them suddenly up and walked off that cliff, looking for a way to end their earthly suffering. <laughs> I'm over here, I can't... Some fucking day, this! 